in this quick Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to extend image background using the generative fill. Generative fill is a button located on contextual taskbar. If you don't see it, go to window and click on contextual taskbar. If you don't see it showing up, you need to go to help updates and update your version of Photoshop to the latest, which you'll be able to do by going to beta apps and installing it from here. Okay, let's get started with the extend background image tutorial. First, using the crop tool, drag and drop the right hand side of the image to extend the background area. Now use the selection tool to select the extended area. Now if you press delete key at this point on your keyboard, you can use the content aware tool, which is the older way of generating filler content for the extended area of your background, which in itself is not so bad for the standards of those days. But to get the higher quality results, you might want to use the new generative fill, which is a button that you will find right here on the contextual taskbar. It only shows up if you made a selection. So I'm going to undo the previous fill and make a new selection around the extended background area. Click on the generative fill button and then click generate without entering anything into the text prompt. Photoshop's AI will do all the work for us and in just a few seconds it will fill up the space of our extended area with a much more organic looking AI generated content. Now it's going to give us three different versions of the extended image and you can use the left and right buttons on contextual taskbar to select the one that you like the most. Now after this you might want to select the remove tool now, this remove tool is usually used to remove object from your scene, but it can also be used to touch things up. For example, I noticed there's a seam. So by painting over it with the remove tool, AI was able to do the right thing and improve that area. But if you wanted to remove this object or an island from your image, you could also use that remove tool in order to do that. 